With girls these days, you just can't trust anyone, especially people that you've not known for that long. <sighs> Last night was a really bad night because I had an argument with Kristen. <laughs> Obviously, with Kristen, obviously, was in the wrong, but when you turn around and it looks like some girl is all over your man, the first thing you're gonna do is fucking react. I'm not having no girl touch my man. <laughs> I was in the wrong pushing her, but any girl would react like that. If you've seen someone yank your man, you go fucking mad. You just fucking touch the fucking and with girls these days, you just can't trust anyone, especially people that you've not known for that long. But most importantly is, me and Nathan had a massive row last night. I'm saying, I don't feel like the boys should blame Sam for not spending time with him. Because I don't think it's Sam that's the problem. It's not. No, it's I not. think it's you. You're a stalker everywhere you push today. The fact that he's supposed to be my best friend, and for my best friend, I'd do anything for them. If some, if someone, if my best friend had killed someone, I'd still stick up for them. I'd still say, you know what, that's wrong. But I'll stand by you because that's what friends do. What sort of best friend says that I, f I follow a stormy boyfriend from well, everywhere? Well, no, it's, Chloe, it's well, I don't over. understand why you think I have an issue with you and Sam. You said. Whoa, you, you. Fuck off. Fuck off, I'm going to bed. No one knows how I feel. No one knows how to ask. I've actually got no one in this house. It's actually disgusting. I just feel like he's not really been there for us this time. He's been judging my relationship a lot. And that's not what best friends do. It's just annoying having people judge your relationship every single day, especially people who are close to you. Oh, no.